Hi guys, Robert from DroneStock.com here. We're just going to talk about a couple tips on how to get the props from your copter out of your shot. This is a DJI Phantom 4 Pro. So a lot of guys are shooting amazing footage with their Phantom 3, their Phantom 4, their Phantom 3 Pro. And so all that, all, all what you're about to hear is applicable to all those copters. So how to get the props out of the top of your field of view. On this copter, it's a little bit more of a problem than with the, the Mavic and the uh, Inspire 2, but uh, what I'm about to tell you applies to all of them, and particularly to this copter. So, the, obviously the first thing is, you just lower your camera so that the top of, of the field of view, your camera is still catching the horizon, what you want, but it's lower and not catching the props as much. That's the simple one, which you probably already know. Uh, the next one is, if you fly in attitude hold mode, so uh, watch one of our other videos or look at one of our other blog posts on the difference between attitude hold and GPS mode. Short version is in GPS mode, the copter is doing little moves to compensate to stay on, on that GPS point. In attitude hold mode, the copter puts in an angle based on the exact amount that your thumb is pushing on the right stick. And so what you can do is figure out which exact angle does not have the props in your shot and then the props and then the angle just is held in attitude hold mode as you're going through your nice gentle shot and that angle doesn't change and it doesn't move the copter around and put the props in your shot. So attitude hold mode is better for for consistently keeping the props at a certain angle. The next tip is flying backwards. If you're flying backwards your copter is super tilted doesn't matter how fast you're going, you can go full speed backwards, 45 miles an hour, and you're never going to get your props in your shot. Uh, so that works well for you know pulling out of a scene, but also if you have a scenic shot, uh, you can reverse that shot in, in post in your editing program and turn it into a shot where you're going into your scene, as long as there's no uh, cars or people moving around the shot, because then they'd be walking backwards or driving backwards. So, if there's no moving things that, that make it obvious it's a reverse shot, you just fly right into where you're going to end the shot, and then you haul as fast as you want out to where you start the shot, and then you just reverse that in your editing program, and the props are nowhere near your camera. Uh, the, the last tip I'm going to talk about is, is uh, a bit of a nuance, it's a little tricky. Uh, if if you have a wind coming from a, a certain direction, particularly a strong wind, what you can do is let the wind move you through your shot. And, and the copter is just going to stay uh, perfectly level, even in, in, in uh, and you'd have to do this in attitude hold mode. Otherwise, in GPS mode, the copter just stays in one spot and doesn't let the wind take it. So in attitude hold mode, you fly way upwind to where you want the shot to start, and then you just let the wind take the copter. You literally don't move the right thumb button, the right thumbstick. You just point the copter with your left thumbstick at what you want to shoot. And you can do really nice, fast flybys or fly into's. And the copter is very, very uh, level. And so you can bring the camera way up and get a much higher shot. So those are the four tips we wanted to talk about. We'll see you next time. Thanks.